measures because uh, you know, there, are, there, are, there, are, there will be other things that I, I don't think the normalization committee would, uh, would want to implement uh, right now. That would be left with the mandate of the, 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 the permanent executive to take so that we can move forward in order to make sure that Gambian football is being played at the highest level. Okay? Uh, the, um, the reality here, you know, the reality on the ground here is the stakeholders in football, you understand, are not coming to terms, you know, are not trying to strike a compromise. You know, you know, we have we have we have different stakeholders, you know, in, 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 in the playing in the moving of our sports. And we have seen that, you know, uh, these stakeholders are not striking a compromise whereby, you know, we uh, uh, end this normalization process and move forward. Because I believe it is the disagreement between stakeholders, you understand, that is dragging this thing on. And unless that uh, disagreement, you understand, unless that wrangling, unless that hustling between the stakeholders is laid to rest, you understand, I see us, you know, uh, the, the, the process to continue. It's, it's, it's high time, you know, stakeholders in our football come and sit and come to terms, put aside any personal differences that may, that may exist. You understand? Yeah. And, you know, we work for the interest of our game. We work for the interest of the athletes, for the interest of the footballers. Sometimes this, 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 this wrangling that is going on is not helping. It's not helping. That's the reality. Yeah. Sometimes I even ask myself, where are the actors in this issue? Because let's, let's think about the athletes. And it's because of the athletes that we call ourselves administrators at the office. And if the athletes are not available, I'm not, I'm not sure whether we'll be having any administrator up going to that level of pushing each other in, coming, in becoming um, and, 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 and successful to, 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 to the next executive of this thing. But as you rightly mentioned, uh, stakeholders, the, 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 the infight between stakeholders, um, as I always said, is the problem of we still maintaining in this normalization period. Because FIFA will always want to see um, all stakeholders come in time so, um, so as to we can be able to see the level of where we're going to. Um, if you could recall the last Congress, um, FIFA um, in a press release sent, uh, came to realize that there are some you know, association or stakeholders who participated in that adoptive Congress which, uh, who are not you know, active um, stakeholders in football development. And therefore, it doesn't tell well for Gambian football. It doesn't tell well for the sport itself, which is football. So I think uh, this um, fighting for position uh, is not helping anyway. It's not helping. Um, stakeholders will always meet, but they will never come uh, to term in, 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 in bringing the way forward of Gambian sport. And that is what is hampering our, our, our development in, in, in progressing to sport. If you look at the, at the athletes that we have presently, Modest. Those are these are at least who want to be you know exposed in the world. They have the they have the they have the ambitions to go in front. But you can only have an ambition if you have somebody who can tell you where to head to, where to go, and which we are not enjoying as we speak now. Because uh, every time we meet stakeholders meet, they have to come and say this is what's happened. This is why we cannot come to town. And I'm 100% sure this is why FIFA has extended these three months. Um, they came to realize that the, the stakeholders involved in Gambian football are still yet pushing. To come to, to come to term in the way forward, and which is not helping at all, which is not helping at all. Yeah, Baba, um, Gambians are still coming to terms with the disappointments in Abidjan uh, seven weeks back, uh, seven days back. That was last Saturday. Um, looking at our sports, um, it's, it's 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 I look at I look at that, that this angle that I'm um, like uh, our sports is not having peace at the moment. You know, peace is everything. You know, there is like fighting in our sports. And unless there is peace in our sports, results will not come. You understand? And uh, like I said, um, as journalists, you understand, uh, we, oh, we always want the best for our country. In fact, everybody wants the best in our sports. You understand? Because we want the results to come. You and I want to see our under 17s, our under eight, uh, 20s. Right now, there's an under 20 tournament. And governments don't seem to know that it is even No, happening. no, the people that, even me, uh, even me, it's only when I tune to Al, Al Jazeera at home, then I see the goals, you know, I, oh, there is an under 17 tournament that is going Just on. under 20? Yeah, under 20 that is going on, you know, we used to have the Gambia there, you know, we are no more there, the under 17 is coming up, we will not see the Gambia there, you understand, and the national team is not getting the results. So this is why as journalists, you know, we sit here to discuss, to make sure that, you know, uh, we you know, put through, you know, not actually put through, but share our, exp share our ideas with the stakeholders because we want the stakeholders to come to terms and make sure that we move our sports forward. Uh -huh. You understand? But like I said, there is no peace in our sports. That's the reality. 
and it's like a country. If there's no peace, why are we proud of the government? Because of the peace that we have. This is why we're having all these developments. True. You understand? True. And the government of the day is investing heavily in sports. You and I and Haji were at the press conference the other time. Uh, when the minister had the press conference at the stadium, where he said the government invested over 100 million dollars in, dollars in, in from, the past five from years, 2000, from 2008, to date. you know, to date, you know, so 100 million dollars was invested in sports by the government of the day from 2008 to up to date. You understand? That shows the commitment of the government in making sure sports move forward. You understand? But in as much as the government is doing that effort, if stakeholders are not coming to that agreement, you know, it will always be, you know difficult you know to get the results and that's 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 where we find ourselves true um you see that is why the the, the honorable minister of youth and sports uh alu Jami, has always been calling for for compromise uh, in the administration of uh, our sports not only football because um we need to put uh, the interest of the athlete and the 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 the, the, the entire country you know uh, on top that should be our priority, the interest of the fans and the athletes. Okay? Now, we have to make sure that we come to compromise. Taking the GAV as an example, we know that uh, the, the, the constitution uh, that FIFA wants us to, to, to adopt is the way forward for Gambian football. Okay? Because you will see that there will be, that uh, the, the, the teams will be, will be scaling through the latter from the regional league to the national league, who knows, up to the level of, of representing the Gambia at, uh, you know, intercontinental uh, football. So why does the stakeholders uh, reject the constitution? Well, you can tell, because, uh, you know, we don't know why they, they, they did so. Okay? That is the best. But also, let all parties involved come to the round table, make a compromise in order for us to move on. Because we need to move on. And unless we put aside all our differences, we would not move on. So we need to put aside all those differences and move on. Haji, if you, um, crit if you look at things critically, you know, you find out that, you know, uh, what stakeholders are debating on, you know, you find out that they are, in for all, 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 all parties are basically on the same line. But there are some little, little, little things, you know, that is trying to bring uh, the divergent views, you know, which is making sure that, you know, still now we are stagnant at one place. You understand? I believe, you know, because if you look at, uh, let's say, for example, one thing that has been uh, main in, uh, the main talking point has been the issue of these regional clubs. You understand? Regional clubs were, uh, the regional league was going on. Do you understand? And if you look at in this new constitution also, they're talk still talking about uh, 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 a, a, a proper restructuring of the regional leagues. Mm. So you find out that, you know, it's more or less the same, the same, the same, the same argument. You understand? Yes. So I don't see anything why, you know, we should be, you know, pushing and pulling about things that are basically the same. I think, um, as colleague mentioned, um, we should look for the interest of the nation, not um, the interest of an individual. Mm. Um, I've seen an individual um, interest much in this than uh, the nation interest, which is not helping, mm. uh, because uh, we've been talking about regional football, uh, which has been dormant for the for the past years, mm. and now FIFA is saying, look. Let's go back to the region and tap those young talents that um, you know could be nurtured there and be a feature, feature talent for the nations. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that should be a reason of you know uh, talking about uh, and, and, and rejecting. Um, I think there are personal issues that uh, some stakeholders and st stakeholders are still having in them, which is not helping. And that doesn't tell well. That doesn't tell well actually. Anyway. That's where we're going to go for our first caller who is on the line. Um, it's a program whereby you get... Hello. Oh, yeah, hello. Hello. Yeah, hello. Hello. Hello, we're getting you. Good afternoon. Hello, Mr. Jaro. Yes, good afternoon. Hello. Yeah, you can please call back. Uh, um, you can have your say. The number is on the uh, screen. You can call us. And let's please, um, you know, come out with some tangible issues, you know, not, yeah. you know, trying to look at uh, each other's fault, but at least come up with issues that will move our sports forward. forward. That is the essence of this program. Yeah. 
like I was saying, uh, the regional, the regional uh, league, um, bringing the regional league back, I think that will give our league that standard which um, every football um, lover is looking forward to. Uh, because we're talking about to professionalize our league. Mm -hmm. And you can do that when you start tapping from the regional. I think uh, if, the, if the regional 